Hey everybody. So today we are going to discuss uh, some important topics. As you can see, they are ceramics, plastics, semiconductors, radio, <coughs> and television. So we will be discussing these topics in this class. Meanwhile, those uh, who are uh, live, they can invite their friends to this live session. And I hope uh, <clears throat> I'm audible. The screen is visible clearly. Write a comment so that I know that we have no problem in this live session. So let's get start. And that is, as you know, ceramics, the first topic of, of today's session. Ceramics, right? So ceramics, we generally define it that they are what non metallic solid made from in organic pounds of non metal or you can also say metalloid or semi-metal particularly in the form of uh, you know SiOx these are the compounds of silicon oxide and mainly uh, this form is in silicon dioxide okay this is one of the form silicon dioxide <coughs> for which ceramics are particularly made right in which in which atoms atoms may held by ionic or coiling bonds so this is the basic definition of ceramics technically right so what one thing they are non-metallic solid second thing inorganic compounds of non-metals particularly in the form of silicon dioxide okay so this is the basic definition of ceramics right now uh, let's take some example for example we have uh, earthenware right porcelain Porcelain, yes, right? A I N pottery, pottery, bricks, tiles, as you know, and even uh, you may hurt, uh, not hurt, you know, very well, diamonds. Diamonds and graphite. Graphites are, uh, as uh, some books consider it, it a ceramics. Okay, diamonds and graphite are also considered ceramics by some books. 
पार्टिकुलरली यू नो कंपोजिशनली जब हम कंपोजिशन के बात करते हैं कंपोजिशन के हिसाब से ग्रेपाइट और डायमंड्स को भी खास कुछ ऐसे बुक्स है जो डायमंड्स और ग्रेपाइट को सिरामिक्स के साथ हिस्से में डालते ओके नाउ कमिंग टू द करेक्टरिस्टिक्स ऑफ सिरामिक्स वट आर द बेसिक प्रॉपर्टीज ऑफ सिरामिक्स हाउ वी वेल नो सिरामिक्स ओके सो वन ऑफ देम इज that it is hard right and then it is by nature brittle it can be broken easily and next it is it has high high melting point write this point so that you own it please write in the comment and next uh, you know is by nature um, chemical chemical durability or uh, you can also say let me write correct it durability or inert inertness chemically इनएक्टिव है आसानी से रिएक्शन नहीं करते एंड नेक्स्ट इट हैज वट एंड अदर प्रॉपर्टी एंड दैट इज करोजन रेजिस्टेंट इट इज आल्सो हीट रेजिस्टेंस यू कैन इमेजिन द प्रॉपर्टीज ऑफ इट ओके heat resistance and as usual uh poor electrical and thermal conductivity right so these are some of the characteristics of ceramics we have discussed so far okay now how uh, ceramics are manufactured so let's talk about uh, its uh, you know manufacturing process manufacturing okay so in this process a raw material raw material uh, such as clay clay plus kelinoid plus aluminum oxide plus silicon carbide plus tungsten carbide and other pure pure elements are combined with water So these are the formula key with my aluminum oxide i repeat so you must write the complete name of these chemicals so that you know it and you understand it aluminum oxide i repeat aluminum oxide this is o3 okay al2o3 silicon carbide silicon aur ye wala carbon se ban gaya aur ye tungsten hai ye carbon carbide se ban gaya uh carbide carbon c it is water as you know to iske banane ke liye hamare paas ye cheeze honi chahiye jab hum ye combine karte hain aur isko kya karte hain isko hum mix karke and then uh 
accordingly part in kiln with high temperature patti means ko hum part karte hain with high temperature and then automatically it is shaped shaped and molded according to the demand that what we are going to mat here it is earthenware porcelain pottery bricks tiles okay so these are the common example so i don't see any comments uh, yes now i see aiza khan okay so you must participate something okay now what are the types of types of ceramics number 1 that is white ware white ware and white ware are particularly uh, by name it is called cookware tiles and pottery so these are the white ware number second that is structure structure ceramics and they are bricks pipes roofing and floor tiles number third we have technical ceramics right and it encompasses uh it is also called engineered as its name suggest engineered ceramics i hope you understand and they are particularly utilized for space cropped heat shielding heat shielding tools in space cropped similarly you know uh, biomedical implant tools are equipments biomedical implants equipment breakers regarding electricity are electric breakers it is also used in engines and so on number 4 that is repertories repertories ceramics so they are used to make crucibles and crucibles are chemical apparatus 
in chemical laboratories in particular lime kiln etc and next we have plastics so plastics a common example so we can define it by the way that it is in any synthetic or semi synthetic organic polymers is a main ingredient ya to synthetic ho sakte hain ya semi synthetic bhi ho sakte hain by nature it is organic polymer and polymer made from um, more uh, two or more than two monomers up um, you know carbohydrates by nature for polymers are considered in the class of carbohydrates so organic polymer is a main ingredient in this regard one of the property of uh, plastic is said to be that it is it has plasticity so this is the property of plastic and it is the ability the ability to deform without breaking tooting ke bagair jo deform hoti hai isi property ko hum plasticity of plastic kehte hain now let's talk about its example so we have uh, you know pvc polyvinyl chloride write in the comment its complete name polyvinyl chloride and pp polypropylene uh, let me write it poly profile propylene right and another one that is ps that is uh, polystyrene as you know usually uh, polyester okay polystyrene polystyrene and we have another type that is h d p e so it is high density polyethylene high density polyethylene and another one that is l d p e low density polyethylene so i hope you understand now uh, its properties so its properties that generally depend on composition and structure but uh, commonly they have uh, they are by nature insulator i'm talking about what 
statistics. So they are generally in the letter. It can be amorphous. Amorphous means you irregular shape. Ke hote hai. Amorphous can be crystalline. Your regular shape put in R, it can be semi crystalline in structure. It is, uh, you know, it has another property, and that is durability with the slow rate of degradation right now let's talk about its types so generally we have its two types number one that is thermosets thermoset and it is also known as thermosetting thermosetting and they are by nature amorphous at regular in shape and they solidify into permanent permanent shape Tico, yeah. with dipping it with on dipping it molecular weight is key properties in a marvelous and it is mainly solidified into permanent shape relatively okay number second that is thermoplastic thermoplastic so it can be heated and remolded one of the property of thermal plastic is that it can be heated and remolded with and well, again, how it is manufacturing, how it is manufactured. So now let's start its formation. So we have polymers plus additives and additives are you know it can be uh, colorants for a variety of colors it can be plasticizer for plasticity as we already talked in the uh, earlier it can be stabilizer for stability fillers for some you know uh, pinning purposes and reinforcement per shape. So when polymer are mixed with additives, so resultantly we get what dipping it composition.
with dependent properties. Okay, and dependent composition and properties are directly proportional to the characteristics of that plastic. This means that the composition, the uh, property of the plastic, can be used by the plastic. Now come to another point, and that is semiconductor. As you know, semiconductors are uh, a clause of a clause of crystalline crystalline solids having electrical properties between conductors and insulator ठीक हो गया ये के स्टूडेंट सॉलिड्स होते हैं और इसकी जो इलेक्ट्रिकल प्रॉपर्टीज है वो कंडक्टर्स और इंसुलेटर के बीच में होते हैं फॉर एग्जांपल वी हैव गैलियम जी ए इज द सिंबल ऑफ गैलियम गैलियम अर्सेनाइट गैलियम अर्सेनाइट we have germanium and silicon these are most common example of semiconductors and if we talk about its uh, characteristics or properties so we can say that temperature is directly proportional to conductivity what does it mean conductivity <coughs> It means that if you increase the temperature of, of, of that uh, semiconductor, so its conductivity increases. Right? It is also used for energy conversion. energy conversion switches amplifiers and besides this uh, because of its exceptional nature uh, we are modifying by a method known as doping okay doping Doping के बारे में हमें कुछ चीजें में बात करेंगे पहले इसके properties की बात करते हैं ये चूंकि इसके बीच में आगे इसलिए वजह से मैंने लिख दिया less powerless it has the property to cast less power and it is also smaller and less in weight as compared to the other while is its resistance resistance is inversely proportional to temperature temperature zyada karogi resistance kam hoga agar resistance zyada hai to temperature zyada hoga is ki property hai now what are dopings uh, what is doping so पहले टाइप्स की बात करते हैं तो खुद ब खुद इसमें डोपिंग आ जाएगा ठीक है टाइप्स जनरली वी हैव टू एंड दैट इज इंट्रेंसिक एंड 
and another one that is extrinsic. Intrinsic is what is fewer form of germanium silicon and we keep in mind we are talking about semiconductors so intrinsic are the pure form of germanium either germanium or silicon while extrinsic are type of semiconductor are further classified into n type conductor and p type conductor so n type conductor is pentavalent pentavalent impurities impurity of either phosphorus arsenic antimony plus electron donor group or atom and when this happened pentavalent pyro okay pentavalent pyro valency ko hum jis kehte hain theek hai ho gaya jab ye price hoti hai to isko hum kehte hain doping and doping is the incorporation of intent intentional impair um, int the intentional incorporation of impurities to uh, pure semiconductor to enhance its conductivity is said to be doping i repeat the intentional incorporation of impurities to fewer semiconductor to enhance its conductivity is said to be doping and similarly p type uh, conductor what we have this is tri three trivalent impurities are introduced such as uh, Uh, gallium boron indium maybe aluminium and along with it uh, there the incorporation of electron deficient group as compared to the above are introduced and when you drop it so resultantly we get what enhanced semi conductors in similar the case with it as well ho gaya next we have radio okay so radio in general sense is a device that either makes a respond respond to radio waves so it's a kind of 
method of transmitting electrical energy from one place to another place without the involvement of a wide collection and by this way it is also known as wireless connection radio while radio waves are the part of EMR, electromagnetic radiation, electromagnetic radiation up a uh, frequency range between uh, 30 hertz to 300 megahertz. Particularly, its wavelength, if we talk about, is larger than the rest you find in the EMR spectrum. So its frequency is very low, as you see here, as compared to the other. And similarly, its, its energy, if we talk about it, is also very low. Oh, yeah. Now, what are the uh, how it works? How it works, right? So, for communication, is it is a way medium of communication, uh, communication radio, okay. So, per communication, two things are important. One is the transmitter that transmit uh, the thing or the wheel, and another one that is receiver. They are important and it must present at each place, at each place or location. So you must know it practically, but let me tell you shortly that when you extend the antenna on a radio receiver it snatch it <clears throat> it snatches em or electromagnetic radiation from transmitter and by setting the tool on radio per program this is up see calm cutting oh yeah 
so what are the components so let's talk about briefly its components so components are telescopic fm antenna which is external and you extend power to set up the program or uh, tune that is for catching telescopic fm antenna is for catching a good telescopic fm antenna so it is for catching a good range of fm broadcast so here the size of antenna is directly proportional to signals so the higher the larger the size of antenna so good will be the signal now for a second that is uh, another component that is battery compartment so this is the area where from you get as uh, you power the radio set compartment number third we have loudspeaker so it is known to you and number four ac power input okay so it is a cable plugs into a main electricity supply socks to run the device or gadget okay and next uh, we have you know transformer you chote transformer hoti hai radio ke andar uh ek bada size ka hoti hai aur baaki choti choti bhi hoti hai and the function of this transformer uh as you know power from ac can be 110 जो मेन सप्लाई होते हैं 110 भी हो सकते हैं 220 भी हो सकते हैं 240 भी हो सकते हैं और ये वेरी करते हैं फ्रॉम कंट्री टू कंट्री ठीक है वोल्ट्स की हम बात करते हैं हो गया अब रेडियो सेट तो छोटी चीज है और इसको मतलब स्केल डाउन करने के लिए हम क्या करते हैं इसे ट्रांसफार्मर को यूज करते हैं टू परफॉर्म द फंक्शन टू uh, set the radio to listen it. Isko transformer is a jo high voltage is ko scale down kate hai, lower kate hai, reduce kate hai. Okay, number six we have uh, internal antenna which is considered AM. And this is internal. We have also amplifier to boost the signal. Signal booster or enhance is its strength. And the rest, you know, we have also volume control and tuning control and uh, earphone sock, okay. A lot of uh, equipment there, but these are uh, most common and basics uh, component uh, you find in the radio set. Coming to television and television, as you know, this is the uh, complete form of TV. It can be daily. Okay, are tele from telecommunication. So the idea, uh, the basic idea about it is a radio set plus camera. So this was the basic idea from which the a practical form of television has arose. Okay, so now let's talk about little bit of it so it is a system a system of electronic delivery 
delivery of moving objects, pictures, images, anything, and sound from a source to a receiver. Either in monochrome, monomine one, or in color. And in two or three die mentions. So upon this definition, you can take the basic idea of television. So we have completed that today's uh, we have completed today's uh, topic so far. Okay, and now I should leave. I don't see any comments. Uh, now, if you will be listing it later on. So if you find any difficulty anywhere related to any topic, so you can write a comment, I will be responding and have a nice day.